Hey guys, welcome back to Writing with Miss Maxi. I hope you're excited for your first full week of school since we got back from winter break. I hope everybody had a great break and you feel rested and ready to jump into more learning. So we already wrapped up our, um, our lesson two on narrative writing. Today we are starting an entirely new lesson on opinion writing. Now you've probably heard of fact and opinion before, but we're going to dive a little deeper into what those mean and how to write an opinion piece. So let me share my screen. It is day one. We are learning about opinion writing. Let's check out where we are on the writing path. You guys remember Herschel? Say hi, Herschel. He says, come with me on the writing path. Today, we're going to do step one, learn about writing. Find out what kind of writing you will do. Read a model of the writing type. So we already did narrative. We already did informative, and now we're working on opinion. The materials you'll need today are your iReady writing book and a green, yellow, and red marker or colored pencil, as well as a regular pencil. So go ahead and pause your video, go find your materials, and come back when you're ready to jump in. Our I can statements for today are I can identify the purpose and parts of an opinion paragraph and I can analyze the features of a mentor opinion paragraph. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our books to page 70. Page 70. All right, so we should be on page 70 in our writing books. It should look like this. It will say lesson three, writing an opinion paragraph. Step one, learn about opinion writing. What is an opinion? An opinion tells what we like or what we would choose. This is Herschel and he's going to tell us a couple of his opinions. He says, I love to swim. Do you? What's your opinion? My favorite food is grass. What's your opinion? So he loves to swim. That doesn't mean that I love to swim. I can have a different opinion. Maybe I don't love to swim. That's okay. Everybody has different opinions and we don't all have to like the same things or have the same favorites. Differences are what make us stronger because we can see and recognize other people's opinions and respect them and still be friends, even though we have different thoughts. So let's read more about opinion writing. What is opinion writing? Writers tell their feelings about a topic. Writers also give reasons to support their opinions. Readers want to know why the writer has that opinion. Opinion writing has a beginning that introduces the topic and opinion, a middle that gives reasons, and an end that makes the opinion clear. Let's look carefully at what happens in each part of opinion writing. So what should happen in the beginning? Remember, you can pause your video, look back at the page, rewind even if you want to, Whisper your answer to the screen, and then we'll keep going. Oops. That's right. The beginning should have the topic and the opinion that you're going to keep talking about. Okay, a reason explains why. So where would the writer put reasons for their opinion? Would it be in the beginning? No, because we already talked about what happens in the beginning. So the middle is the part that gives the reasons. 
Okay, and what should a writer remember to do at the end of an opinion writing? At the end. That's right, they should make sure the opinion is clear. All right, so moving on to page 71, we are gonna read an example of opinion writing. This is our mentor text that we'll be referring to um, all throughout lesson three about opinion writing. So for the next three weeks. So it's really important that you listen closely and pay attention to what we're about to read. All right. Luke wrote an opinion paragraph about a house that would be hard to build where he lives. Let's read it. Here's our mentor text. Here we go. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Too Warm for an Igloo by Luke Weber. Would it be harder to build log houses or igloos where I live? I think building igloos would be much harder. It would be harder because we don't get snow and ice here. I live in Florida. We might get a little bit of snow sometimes, but it's not enough snow to build igloos. Also, igloos would melt if we built them. It's very warm in Florida. It can be really hot. Igloos would melt very quickly. The weather where I live makes building an igloo impossible. All right, so now that we've read our mentor text, I have a couple of questions for you. The first one is, why do you think Luke wrote this paragraph? What was he talking about? That's right, he was talking about which home would be harder to build where he lives? So he wrote it, he wrote this paragraph to tell us which one he thinks would be harder. Okay, my next question for you is why does Luke think an igloo would be harder? Why does Luke think an igloo would be harder? What reasons did he give to back up his opinion? That's right. He thinks an igloo would be harder to build where he lives because there's not enough snow in Florida and it's very warm there. So the igloo might melt, kind of like Olaf, just melt away if it gets too hot. Okay. So now I want you to break out your green, yellow, and red colored pencils or markers that you got when we went over the materials we would need for the day. And we are going to read the paragraph again, this time as a writer. And we are going to follow these directions on the side to underline our beginning, middle, and end. So let's look at our directions first. Number one, did Luke write a beginning? Underline his topic and opinion in green. Did he write a middle? Underline his reasons in yellow. Did he write an end? Underline the words that tell his opinion again in red. All right, so go ahead and pause your videos here. And I want you to go through, underline the beginning in green, the middle in yellow, and the end in red. When you're done, Come back and we'll go over it together. Welcome back. I hope everybody has had a chance to underline their beginning, middle and end. And now we can go over it together. So the first one was talking about the beginning and it told us to underline his topic and opinion in green. Well, the beginning is at the beginning, right? Oops. Let me get the lights. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so the beginning, I underlined this part right here. 
Would it be harder to build log houses or igloos where I live? Because that's his opening statement. That's how he begins it. And his opinion comes right after. He says, I think building igloos would be much harder. So usually when somebody says, I think, they're about to tell you their opinion. Those are some keywords to listen for when thinking about opinion. So feel free to pause your video. You can change what you underlined if you need to. And then we'll go on to the middle. For the middle, it asked us to underline the reasons he gave for his opinion in yellow. So the reasons I found were this sentence, it would be harder because we don't get snow and ice here. And also igloos would melt if we built them. I mean, technically all of these are reasons because there's not enough snow, but I think this sentence and this sentence are the main reasons that he gave to back up his opinion. So again, feel free to pause your video, underline if you haven't already, um, and then come back when you're ready to move on to the end. For the end, it asked us to underline the words that tell his opinion again in red at the end. Okay, so what I found that I underlined for the end was the weather where I live makes building an igloo impossible. Because we know his opinion is that it would be really, really hard to build an igloo in Florida. So he made his opinion super clear by saying that it would be impossible, right? Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Just trying to get you back in the groove of our writing courses and learning more about opinion writing. Um, I'm gonna clear my annotations. And all I have for you today for your write time is I want you to write, how is writing an opinion different from writing a story? Upload your responses to Schoology so we can make sure we see that you're working and you understand the difference. Okay, I've had fun learning more about opinions with you. Um, I think writing is fun. Um, that's my opinion. I hope you agree with me, but it is okay if you don't. We're going to try to make it as fun as we can tomorrow and every day after that. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.